My name's Guy Neville. I'm a senior partner at Max Fordham. We're a practice of building services engineers and environmental consultants. We work very closely with the architects, trying to provide the most comfortable and enjoyable environments inside buildings with the least use of resources from outside. Lighting, heating, air conditioning is integrated with the building fabric as much as possible. So this is the Hive Library in Worcestershire. It's designed to use about half the carbon emissions of a building of this type. And you can see the cones on the roof. These cones are a fundamental part of the environmental strategy for the building. The glazing allows the daylight deep within the building. And there are some structural beams that run inside that also provide shading. So it tends to be a very sort of muted light level all the time. And you can see at the moment, you know, we're here in the middle of the day and there's really only the lights on to light up the bookshelves. Air is brought in through the opening windows and there are automatic opening vents that run all the way around the perimeter of the roof lights and they allow the warm air to rise and to leave. Max Fordham like to get involved in the post-occupancy stages of a project so that we can see what's working. The energy use at the design stage may be set at a certain level, but actually in practice is often somewhere between 40% more and three or 400% more. And we found here with the Hive working with the facilities managers here, the energy use has dropped right back down to where it meets the design targets that were set in the brief originally. We feed the results of research that we do back into the industry, and it's really in this way that we're going to start to make the bigger difference to either improving the quality of buildings or reducing the energy consumption across the whole of the UK and actually the wider world.